Hi guys, again welcome back. Remember, I, I just promised I'll just giving you all these updates and giving you everything that definitely you should understand regarding to what we call the laws in Qatar, regarding to what we call the procedure, regarding to some of the very common mistakes that most of us have been as uh, most of been we've been getting through just not because we get through these of most common things or most uh, mistakes we make just because that we think we so neglected about the law and we don't know what are some of these things that we we are entitled or some of these things that apply to us in any way or the other yes someone asked me a question regarding to what we call the runaways or what we call the runaway cases yes uh, the normal procedure for you uh, when you have runaway cases and most of you you'll agree with me you've run away you've run away from your uh, employers or you are hiding some of you may be even hiding somewhere right now you are in those houses you are so comfortable you're like no police will not get me and definitely I'm safe whatever I'm here yes for apparently for right now you may be very safe where you are there's no one who can come for you if it is in that case. And what I have to share with you, that when you look at the Ministry of Interior, or when you look at uh, the CID or the Ministry of Interior, cannot come into what we call the residential homes for you to look for what you call runaway cases or look for you if you ran away or if you have a case that your employer compiled against you regarding to the runaway or in what we call the follow-up and such department of the CID. Yes, they will not look for you. Yes, you will hide in that accommodation wherever you are hiding. You will hide in those homes wherever you are hiding because those are residential homes. Normally for the Ministry of Interior to do what you call the follow-up and come and do the search in those residential homes or in any accommodation, if one of the times you happen to see them, that must be under the directive of what you call the public prosecution that directs them or gives them, gives them the, pass, the permission to come and can and look for you wherever you are or to come inside those homes that will. But remember, you cannot run and hide for several times. There's are times when you need to go for medical, you need to go to the, the mall, you need to go to anywhere that you need to have something. Because you never, never, you never all the time keep yourself in the homes or in your accommodation or wherever you are hiding. Maybe sometime that you may give be forced and you fall in the hands of the police when they're outside, actually when there's always uh, trying to get such and such up for those people that do not have IDs and they happen to have case against that. So most of the time is that I think it's very better for you. You can clear up whatever you have to, to do. You clear up with what you call either uh, the the CID or Eneva or your employer. Try to clear up uh, such a way that they don't have to manhunt you for any way. And I told you one of the other requirements, a trick that most of you did not know, or most of the trick that people, some of you, you do not understand is that you can do what you call, you can do something that definitely I have to let you know that, that you can... Uh, you can do the appeal when you come to a CID or even the court, the community court, you can try to appeal if your genuine, if your reason definitely is definitely genuine of your runaway case. You can try to appeal and definitely for the Ministry of Labor, uh, putting an application if you have an offer letter and plus what you call an application plus an offer letter and that evidence. Sometimes the Ministry of Labor tends to hear that and tends to give you a waiver. They will submit that to the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Interior will taken to the system, they will give you what you call a waiver 30 days and definitely will send a message to the CID to get to cancel out of the case and they will give you what you call a, a duration of time like 30 days for you to look for what, what employment or to look for someone who can take over your visa and give you a hope of trying to share something for you. For those people that definitely you need to understand for that criteria, that's definitely you. You need to understand that that's what you need to follow. So hope I've tried to share something for you. Remember, it's always makes the tourists trying to give you all these uh, practical updates in any way or the other. Thank you so much. By the way, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow in the TikTok account. You will always be the best in all situations. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.